Song the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. <clears throat> so the past uh, few weeks, we've been talking about the importance of fasting, and we're actually in the middle of one of the biggest fastings um, that we fast, which is Abi Yitzhom. And we discussed that Abi, meaning to lick huge, big, is um, the fact that the fasting that we're fasting right now. And we said some of the reasons that we call it big was because. Jesus Christ actually fasted this same fast. So, we are fasting this. This is probably, um, again, the biggest fast that we're doing. And then within this fast, there's eight weeks. And then the eight weeks are kind of separated into individual themes that we're talking about. So, we're trying to encourage everyone to start fasting. And if you have, for whatever reason, you haven't heard about the fast, and this is the first time you've, you're hearing about it, like start fasting now. It's not too late. Don't say, you know, already a week passed by and like I can't start now. Like, yes, you can. And then just correct whatever you've been doing in the past week and then just continue and continue fasting. If this is like the first time you're hearing about a fast and you're like, what, what is this fast that everybody's talking about? We're in the middle of a fast. It's the second week and just like start now, I guess, or tomorrow morning. Just continue fasting and we want to encourage everybody to fast as much as we can. We've looked at different ways of fasting. Um, food being one of them. Uh, fasting from like our eyes not seeing anything that, that we're not supposed to look at. And what, one of the stuff that we said was fasting is like kind of forbidding yourself from the things that are not forbidden, right? A lot of people think Fasting is forbidding yourself from the stuff that's already forbidden, and that's one of it. But most importantly, is forbidding yourself from stuff that's not forbidden. And the stuff that we talked about was, for example, as much as like we're not supposed to, um, I don't know, like we shouldn't be getting drunk on a regular day, right? Well, we're forbidden from doing that anyway. But what's really what we're really avoiding is we're avoiding like let's say coffee and and cook and all that stuff so that we have time um, to fast the appropriate way, forbidding ourselves from the things that are not forbidden. Again, the perfect example I gave is uh, burger is not forbidden, but we forbid ourselves um, in order to fast the correct way. So that's some of the stuff that we talked about in the earlier um, segments. Last week, we looked at the first week of the fast, which was called Zawarada. Zawarada. And the main theme that we were talking about for last week was to think about what Jesus Christ did for us and to really understand the sacrifice that he gave us. So um, that was kind of the mission or the, the theme of last week. This week is the second week. And this week is called Kedist. Kedist. Or holy, right? So when we think of someone holy, there's like God is the only one like 100% holy, right? He's absolutely holy, like holy of all holies, right? 
holy 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 kadus 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 right because um he's completely holy and there's no one like him and first samuel chapter 2 verse 2 when hannah was praying she said there is no one holy like the lord so it's important to understand there is no one holy like the lord and even when we say the lord's prayer we say our father in heaven hallowed be your name because again even his name is holy but this week what we really want to concentrate on is as long as we're followers of god then we too are holy followers of god are also holy in matthew chapter 5 verse 48 god gave us the perfect assignment he said be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect let me repeat that be perfect therefore as your heavenly father is perfect this is what we're supposed to work on this week that's the theme of this week as much as we can we're going to try to be as perfect as we can now when we first hear this verse there's one thing that kind of crosses our mind is wait no one is perfect except for god that is true there is no one perfect other than god god is the only one that's 100 percent perfect right that's true but that means that we have a lot of work to do that means that this week we're going to try to get as close as possible to being perfect that means we have a lot of work to do for all you mathematicians and engineers out there think of it like the limit of us approaching perfect we're not gonna quite get there but every single step we take we're gonna get closer and closer and closer so this week is a, again a perfect opportunity for us to be holy or to be good how to become good and luke chapter 6 verse 45 it said the good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart. And the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. What this verse is saying, a good man stores up good things in his heart and then he brings it out. An evil man stores up all evil things in his heart and then he brings it out. So if we want to be good or if we want to be holy, then this week we should really attempt to store up holy things in our heart so that we're able to take it out. How do we store up holy things? We listen to sermons. We listen to Muslim. We go to church. We pray. We read the Bible. All these things are storing up holy things in our heart. And then again, this week's theme is as much as we can, we're going to try to be holy. وصفات الاغزابير مسكان ايهون لاب لولد لمنفس قدوس زاري بزوترم لزلالمو امين